Hello everybody, so in this video again I will play a little bit with conductive dry ink and in this video I will show to you some of the uses of dry ink. So here I have my basic conductive dry ink and this dry ink I will use to glue this carbon felt into this stainless steel mesh. So, if you make some supercapacitors uh, or batteries, you of course need to have some current collector. In my case, will be this stainless steel mesh, my current collector, and of course some active material. My active material, in this case, will be this carbon felt. And this will be your electrode. Uh, your electrode for battery or the supercapacitor. But now what I will do, I will glue this common felt to this to this stainless steel mesh with conductive dry ink. So on the top of this common felt I will put a little bit of this dry ink okay Really nice. And now I need some pressure and heat. Hot. And now this common felt is how to say glue it to the stainless steel with the help of this conductive dry ink and because this dry ink is conductive you also make really good uh, conductive binding layer between the stainless steel and carbon felt So you will see that this common felt is glued to the stainless steel. Okay, and now let's check what will be the conductivity from this common felt to this stainless steel current collector. Zero point eight ohms. Okay, the another use of conductive dry ink can be for making some printed electronics. So here I have some normal paper, and on this paper I will put this Captain tape.
like so. Instead of using some captain tape, you can also use some baking paper. Now I will apply this conductive dry ink. So Okay, on the top I will put some baking paper and now I need to apply some pressure and heat. Okay. So this is just for example, really, really nice. The same way I will do also with this cotton tape. This one is some non-sticky cotton tape. On the top, I will put baking paper. <laughs> 